Hey folks, Tony Bianchino from Outrun Your Fork Personal Training and Nutritional Counseling. Today we're going to continue on the thread of how to fix or how to strengthen up rotator cuff muscles. This next one is an external rotation again, but from a different angle. Now, please keep in mind again that this is not meant to treat or diagnose any condition. If you've already been diagnosed and are in treatment, this is a great exercise to continue. We're showing you how to do it correctly. Bend. You want to place your elbow and your arm, your upper arm bone at a 90 degree angle to the floor, okay? You want it parallel to the floor. You're going to externally rotate this way. Now I have this band pulled through the back. So this isn't the correct angle. You don't want to face away from it. You want to face to it. And this is what it looks like when you do it correctly. Your arm should not drop. Your arm should not move forward or back. It should stay stationary and parallel to the floor. Okay. This next one is an extension and a lift. It's, I like to call them sword pulls because you're pretending you're pulling a sword out of a scabbard. Your hand is gonna rotate from bottom, thumb down to top as you go through the motion. You wanna make sure to keep the elbow straight this is going to help rehab and keep this stuff strong in here in the front and also some of your rotators, okay? So the key here is to make sure you're pushing it out towards the, the, the back wall or the front wall in front of you. You're going to pull it and turn it like that. It's a 45 degree angle. You're going to come down and around and keep it pushed out. If your elbow's bent, then you're slacking off where you really need to work. From the front, it goes here from your hip like a sword. Here, you don't rotate. You're straight here and you're pulling that sword from the scabbard and up, down and up. And again, you wanna do three sets of 10, one set of 30, and you wanna do it again for both hands. You always wanna make sure there's a balance and use both hands. Be sure you don't rotate. You just wanna bring it down to your hip and back up. Okay, uh, this time we're going to talk about range of motion and show you how to stretch out the muscles in your shoulder, in your chest, and in your rotators to make sure that your rotators are healthy, that your shoulder joint is healthy, uh, and has the best range of motion you could have. So you could use this exercise, you could use a broomstick, you could use a, a, you know, anything that's straight. Uh, usually people have a broom in the house. We here, we, we have a stick. You could use a staff. This one's a little long, so I'm going to show you that I'm actually gonna choke up on it a little bit. If you have a stick long enough, you could grab it on one end and the other. This one's a little long, so I'm gonna grab it here in the middle. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna move through a range of motion. You're not gonna lift your shoulder. You're gonna push with this arm and you're gonna get a stretch. Now, on any stretch, don't go diesel on the stretch, okay? Just get a nice little stretch in there and you wanna move through it three sets of 10 or one set of 30 is a good rule of thumb. So you'll start here and then you'll push. In this case, I'm pushing with my left hand and I'm allowing my right arm to drop. You're gonna push up and over and allow it to drop. Push it up and over and allow it to drop. Make sure you're not lifting with this arm that you're resting it here in the palm of your hand with the stick. From the side, it's going to look like this. You're gonna come up and over, okay? Up. And share with you. If you have questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you like our content, make sure you subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel here. So this way you don't miss an episode. You don't miss a beat. Um, it's been a pleasure sharing with you. Like I always say, folks, I look forward to hearing from you.